still on top of the world. I'm so happy. I'm like, it was the best ever, ever, the best day ever. Uh, it was stressful at times, but I'm super grateful for my tribe of bridesmaids, especially Julie Henderson. I, I love you so much for holding down my baby at, at the wedding. <laughs> I'm like, to get this all done during COVID, that's a feat. I read a lot yeah, of things going on. We're very safe. We kept a COVID friendly place, COVID free friendly place. Uh, we all PCR tested and rapid tested before coming the day of, uh, so we, we had a great time and, and, and I'm grateful because it's very, very, very hard to do it right now. For me, this is just a dream come true that I get to kind of break that box open and show the world that plus size women are more than capable of doing the same things. Well, it was crazy because, I mean, I'm telling the story. So when I had my baby, I gained 60 pounds and, you know, it was a struggle, but I wore that weight as a badge of honor, but then I was ready to get it off. And um, I took my time and did not follow this uh, worldly view of having to lose all of this weight in a day. And so I'm grateful that James Gunn uh, allowed me to uh, be myself and not rush the process and, and, and like try to hurry up and get in the best shape of my life. I, you know, I'm grateful that he said you are enough just the way that you are. If you lose the weight or you gain it. And I'm forever grateful for that. And so I ended up losing the weight uh, during the process. So you might see Adebayo go from <laughs> a little bigger and then shrink down in the face um but it was it was so much fun and and getting to do physical activity like I loved getting to play with guns safely and to get to like you know run out in the middle of the woods and jump over stuff and be harnessed and splattered across the room like I had a great time John Cena knows what he's doing. And there definitely were moments that I was like, okay, Danielle, we are only going to do this two or three times because I do not want John Cena to feel like this girl is taking forever. So he was very patient with me. He gave me good advice when I needed it. Uh, but there were definitely moments where I was like, okay, Danielle, like you can do this. Like you can keep up with him. But that was the fun part about my character is that the same way at a bio is we're kind of similar like she don't know what's going on and she's trying to keep up with him and so was Dania to John Cena it was awesome you know I think uh I, I really enjoyed working alongside John Cena and and getting to show the humanity um and layers of who Adebayo is and um and because the fun part about the way that James Gunn wrote is, is that these two people that are so different from each other have so much alike, you know, and we get to watch them grow alongside each other and teach each other and encourage each other as we all should in the world that we live in, you know, so uh, kudos to James for writing these two characters in, in the way that he has. It's crazy. Viola Davis uh, is from South Carolina and went to Juilliard. I'm from South Carolina and went to Juilliard. I just admire her so much. And when he told me that Viola Davis was going to be my mom or I was going to be her daughter, I was like, yes, this is everything. <laughs> and uh, I just, yeah, I, I, yeah, I just admire her a lot. And, and I, and the only sucky part was that I was shooting in Canada and she was somewhere else in the world and, and I wasn't able to physically be with her or, um, even get to work with her for other reasons but uh she did send her she did send me my love sent her my love send me her love uh 
Oh, we definitely ad libbed a lot, especially in the first episode when you meet the Black Ops team. You'll see at a bio uh, ad, ad lib. You know, James gave me a moment to just go. And it was so funny that Steve AG just kept recording it and we kept breaking and he kept it in. He kept it in. Uh, and there were lots of moments like that for sure. And John Cena is such a great improver. It's not even funny. Like I'm impressed. Like you can't teach that type of improv. He's good. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.